A lot of people dream of Broadway, but how many actually get there? We have an exclusive story. I traveled to New York City for a rare and special look at a Wisconsin native on the big stage. The heart of New York is filled with sights, sounds, and Broadway marquees, including one for the new hit musical, Something Rotten. As the city is gearing up for a night of theater, one cast member is warming up her vocal cords in Brooklyn. Ah. Terry Kelly often practices scales while doing dishes. Ah. Kelly tries to keep her daily routine to a minimum, small things like yoga or writing in her journal. You can't expend too much energy during the day because you're saving it up for night. You're going to be performing for two and a half hours for people and they paid a lot of money to come see you, so you better have something left for them. Terry grew up in this house in Madison, right across from the Shep's Ice Cream Factory. Raised by a single mother, she was hooked on performing from a young age. I love being on stage, um, and it's not like I like the attention, I like that people applaud for me. No, that's the part where I'm kind of like, okay, that's fine. Um, it's really nice to get applause for something, you know, your job. Not everybody gets that. Singing and dancing, it just makes my heart full. It makes, it's, I feel like it's what I'm supposed to be doing. Anything goes! Her powerful voice and superb dancing landed her on Broadway in 1994. She has also done local and regional theater, including Milwaukee, Fort Atkinson, and many other places. With song and dance. Something Rotten, a renaissance comedy about Shakespeare, debuted in April. Several months later, an ensemble cast member left. Terry auditioned and got the role. It's her fifth Broadway show. How hard is it to make it on Broadway? It ain't easy, I'm telling you that. I mean, it isn't. It, it's, it takes a lot of perseverance. You get a lot of rejection. The cast performed in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and they put on eight shows per week with only Mondays off. Your mom must be so proud. Oh, she is. That I have achieved this level of success. She's just so over the moon. She's so glad that those dance lessons paid off. <laughs> Terry lives in a cozy apartment with her record producer boyfriend. She gave us a tour of the living room, bedroom, and kitchen. Except a major appliance is not where it usually is. We put our fridge out in the living room, but then we put this up to cover it, see? You gotta, you gotta get creative in New York sometimes right. with the limited space. Her home is filled with artwork, posters from shows, a few Wisconsin mementos, and a shelf of awards. This is the first award I ever won when I was uh, nine years old for tapping, and I that's like my Aww. favorite one. There is also something special from a famous former castmate. Those maracas that are from Hugh Jackman. Looking at photos with Terry, she humbly points out one she cherishes. I keep this in here because I'm making a mistake and I just have to remind myself that we all make mistakes. When it's close to showtime, she kisses boyfriend Matt goodbye. Break a leg. Okay. And hits the road. Two trains take her to 42nd Street and the St. James Theater, made even more famous because parts of the movie Birdman were filmed here. Glamour. <laughs> She must sign in before heading downstairs. Hi. She shares a dressing room with the other ensemble women. The first duty is makeup. Here we go. This is where the magic begins. So they give us some of the makeup, and some of it we provide for ourselves. I'm providing this base that I'm putting on. Like I said, that's why it's the cheap stuff, because, you know, you go through it a lot. Um, they give us this palette to use, which is um, blush and some eyeshadows. So I'll put those on later. But we all do it ourselves. They usually give us a, a picture to, to go off of uh, with the colors they want us to use. But with this show, they didn't with me as a replacement. They just said, here's some colors, put them on. And I said, okay. <laughs> if I don't know how to do my makeup by this point in my life, then I never will. And now my eyes really pop. Look at that. <gasps> Broadway. <laughs> Next, she must put her hair in pin curls. It's because we need these underneath our wigs to have something to anchor the wig too so it doesn't come flying off when we're performing and shaking our heads. It doesn't take me very long anymore. Um, I'm used to doing it now, so I can, I could even do it without looking. I mean, not that that's a big deal, but I've done it on the subway before. We have all the lovely wigs of Something Rotten here. Beautiful, beautiful wigs. And that's for a uh, musical, that number that was on the Macy's Parade. And then these are my other wigs. This is my opening wig that you'll see. So that's a beautiful wig. And look at the back of that, pretty cool. I never get to see that. 
And this is my fancy wig. And then down here, that's a boy wig. <laughs> I wear that when I'm a boy. I'm a boy in the show. This is my opening dress. This is pretty great. Look at that, isn't that fabulous? It's very intricate, I have a little purse. I think we should try to bring these back. Look at that purse, it attaches, it actually opens, it's a workable purse. I put stuff in there, it's true. These are my fancy shoes. I have a pair of taps like this too. These are my everyday townsperson shoes. And here are my tap shoes, freshly taped. That is a trick of the trade. Dressers put duct tape on the bottom of each and every tap shoe to keep the performers from slipping. The cast and crew are extremely close. They have a book club, and the women even snooze together in the dressing room between shows when they have a matinee. I have a blanket. I lay on the floor. It's very glamorous. Now it's 45 minutes before showtime. The stage is set, a few musicians warm up in the orchestra pit, and crowds gather outside. Showtime. This is the exact same show they perform night after night with no deviations. There's an essence of you're kind of on autopilot a little bit and that it's almost like muscle memory. But there's just a joy when you get on stage though, when that's, sure. those lights hit you and you have that costume on and the, that you can't contain your excitement anyway. At the end of the night, she is back in street clothes and walks out with an old friend from Madison who came to see the show. The two head to a late dinner. She'll be back again tomorrow, bringing the energy and delighting the crowd. Something Rotten is getting great reviews and has an open-ended run. I've been so blessed to do what I do. I mean, to be able to make a living being an actor. And I just want more of the same. I, I love working on Broadway. It's better than a dream. It's better than I ever imagined it would be. Start spreading the news. This Midwestern girl has made it here. No doubt she can make it anywhere. In New York City, Jesse Garcia, today's TMJ4.